I am starting by putting it on my scalp. Nah, here after do. Keep calm and grease my palm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren the 11 and today I'm going to be showing you another wash and go with hair grease, but a wash and go with a hold. Guys, I apologize for the blurriness. I promise you it gets better on the second half of the video. Also guys, please ignore my makeup. I have a demarcation line on my forehead because it was wiped off by hair grease. But please guys, just ignore that and watch this video because you will enjoy it, I promise. And it depends on the type of hair grease that you use that you'll get the hold. So, if you've seen my whole hair grease series, I am exploring the hair grease, the hair grease products. <laughs> because guys, obviously it's hair grease, isn't it? You've got to go back to hair grease. So I've shown you a hair grease wash and go that I've done with Dax and today this one I'm going to be using something different. This is Blue Magic. I've had a lot of requests from you guys saying that you've used Blue Magic as a child or use it now and it's so amazing to your hair and personally I don't think I, I don't remember trying Blue Magic. My mum may have used it on me as a child but it's not something that I personally remember. Sorry. So the one I'm going to be using today, it says with herbs you can actually see. If you know which one I'm talking about already, yes, it's that one. So it says herbal hair and scalp conditioner, Blue Magic Original, made with green tree leaves, jojoba, aloe, and safflower, Indian hemp. And it's this one, guys. Did you see that? Now, I remember my mum using a hair grease on me that had these bits in it. It had like twigs and leaves and dirt. And uh, no, I'm just joking, it didn't have dirt, but <laughs> it had a lot going on. And I hated it because when my hair was cane road, I always felt like I had bits of twigs and leaves in my hair and it just annoyed me. She didn't use it very often actually, she didn't, she didn't use it for a long time actually, she just, she was just switching it up, she was just trying it out. But you know what, you know what parents are like, they've got to use it until it's finished, they won't just throw it away. But with this one, there doesn't appear to be like big twigs in there, there just seems to be bits of leaves. So I think with that I can deal, I can deal. It smells lovely, it smells like a bubble gum very very sweet it's making me salivate right now very nice so this says a combination of nature's finest ingredients and the first ingredient is petrolatum which is what we need it says coconut oil boo lanolin jojoba seed oil green tree leaves uh safflower seed oil it's got quite a good a good mixture of the good stuff you see if anyone is familiar with this one, let me know. This is a very big jar and I paid I paid only £2.49 for this jar. So the reason why I've chosen this one today to do my hair grease wash and go is because it has a nice thick kind of sticky texture. So it's how you apply it guys. You don't want to use too much and you don't want to necessarily do it by small sections because your hair will get greasy and laid down and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this with more curls, <laughs> more shine. So let me just quickly tell you what I've done to my hair to prep it for this wash and go. Washed my hair with Tresemme shampoo twice just to make sure it was extra clean. Then I conditioned it with Tresemme conditioner and then washed that out. And then for my leave-in conditioner, I used this. Ren Pure Whipped Coconut and Peony. And I know I said I don't like using products with coconut in them, but these two, the products that I have used are either hair grease with coconut and this, they don't have any drying effects on my hair. They leave my hair soft. I don't know what it is. I don't even know why I picked them up because it says coconut on them, but I do. Coconut oil for me is a no-no, but things like this seem to work. I don't know. It just seems to work. Smell is divine. If you have come across this, guys, you can actually send it to my PO box because I am missing this, guys. I don't know why I went to Walmart picked up one bottle and I went in there every single day I was on holiday <laughs> and then I picked up one bottle and I'm so regretful right now so I really need another one of these so you know if anyone wants to help me anyway so I will pay for shipping by the way guys right so as I said so I've got my leave-in in my hair is at the back in the middle it's kind of damp actually to lie my hair is almost dry so I'm gonna have to re-moisten it and I don't want my hair soaking wet, I just want it damp. Because that's enough to just to get the curls going. So I'm going to section my hair as I do. I'm going to go and re-moisten my hair. And with that, I'm not going to use uh, water. So then I just feel like I'm going to have to put more conditioner in it. So what I'm going to use is Aunt Jackie's Hydrating Silken in Hair Milk. And it's very liquidy. 
so that's perfect. I don't want to put another leave-in conditioner on there, but I want to put something in there that's watery and has a conditioner in there. And the reason why I'm smoothing it and not raking it is for one, I hate finger raking. I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> and I like clumping my curls together. So this is the best way when your hair is this wet to get definition by clumping it together. Well, personally for me, I feel anyway. I feel that's applied enough. So now it's time for the grease. I am going to start by, I know many people say do not put it on your scalp. I am starting by putting it on my scalp. Another reason why I do like to put it on my scalp, guys, is because when it's like day two or day three here, the grease has started to travel down my strands and that helps minimize tangling and it also helps to keep the moisture in my hair. Also, I have stated that hair grease helps to keep my hair moisturized. I've never actually said that it moisturizes your hair because it doesn't, it seals in the moisture. So if anyone wants to say anything, I'm just telling you from now, that is not what I said. Bright. What I said is, <laughs> it seals in the moisture. So as I'm going to do now, seal in the moisture. Hey guys, so if I'm looking down, I am using a mirror just to make sure it's to how I like it. That is nice, look at the definition. Nice loose curls. So I find that this grease is less greasier than the Dax actually. This has more of a hold than the Dax did. So I'm gonna go through the other parts of my hair. As you can see straight away as I apply it, it curls up nicely and it makes the hair where it feels it needs to clump, clump together. Okay, so let me just carry on doing that. I'm very happy with that. I haven't completely finished that side yet. What I came back to say, what? For a stronger hold like this and definition, you're gonna need a thicker hair grease. Now be warned guys, this is not for the weak. <laughs> if you don't like feeling stiffness in your hair, then I wanna advise using this, this particular hair grease because it can be quite stiff initially. The stiffness does go eventually after maybe the first day or so, but it's just until the hair grease seeps into the strands. So don't worry about that guys, it will go. But if you can tolerate it guys, go for it. <laughs> All right guys, let me finish this side and I'll be with you in a second. Okay guys, so I'm back. This is one half done and I love it. My hair is flowy, it's defined but it's not yet complete. So if you have seen my last video where I was showing you how to re-straighten your hair without heat, the product that I used in that, I'm going to use on my edges now, and it is this, the Dax Styling Pomade for Naturals. And I'm just gonna apply that to my edges. Now guys, I have to do a lot of this off camera because I can't see what I'm doing and I don't know, I'm telling you how it's meant to look and it might not look like that, so I'm gonna do this now. So if you do want to see that video, I'll leave the link down below. But this is, it's a styling pomade cream. And then when you apply it and the white residue disappears, it leaves, it turns into more of, of like a grease with a hold. Okay, so I can't even see how this looks right now. I don't know what I'm doing guys. So I think I'm gonna have to finish this off camera. Finish the other side of camera as well and I will come back to you. But guys, big disclaimer, I need to tell you this. Number one. Using hair grease for a wash and go may not be for everybody, so just be aware guys, you may hate the feeling. If you do hate the feeling of grease on you, then this style where your hair's gonna be out is not for you. Because it doesn't feel too greasy, I'm used to this anyway. But if you don't like to wait for your hair to dry, it's hair grease at the end of the day. If you don't like that feeling, then guys, this one's not for you. And also, I have to say, if you do do this wash and go, it is crucial guys that you do it on damp to wet hair because doing it on dry hair will rip out your hair with this type of hair grease. This hair grease is thick and this one doesn't have such a great slip like the Dax does. So if you're gonna apply it to your hair like this guys where you're smoothing it down, you need to make sure that you have a layer of moisture underneath. Let me continue this side off camera and I will come back to you with the complete look guys. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Guys, I just had to come back and show you the first piece I've done on this side and look how good this looks. Look how nice that looks. Lovely. Oh, my gosh, finally. Hey guys, I have finished. It took me a while because I was stopping and starting, but these are the results. 
This side is still wet, by the way. It's wet because I did saturate a bit more than I did with this side, just because I, I, I wanted to add some more slip. Let me show you the back. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take two paper towels and I'm just gonna pat my hair down just to get rid of any excess grease. Usually paper towels can show you that there's, there's a lot of grease on them. But I'm not gonna rub because you don't want to manipulate or disturb the curl pattern. Okay, let me do this side. I'm sure this side will have more. Purely because it's wet. So you just wanna pat, pat, pat. Okay, and again, not much guys. So even though my hair is shiny, this side is wet. This side is now dry. And it's actually dried whilst I was doing the side. So even better guys, because you style your hair and you can just literally wash and kind of go with dry hair, kind of. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content that I provide for you guys, just subscribe. Press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So. That is it guys, this is the best hair grease to define your hair for a wash and go. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Uh, I have, I have. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, da, da. It's, say so what I, I did come, because I've had a lot of requests from Blue Magic, from Blue Magic, but, <laughs> I'm filming. I'm not doing work. I don't have to do that. Okay, thank you.